All right, guys, welcome back. So today we are out here at the range with the CZ75 P01, and we are gonna run the first rounds through it to see how it's gonna work and function and feel and, uh, and just to have a little bit of fun. So here we go, first 14 round mags. We'll go ahead and decock it, and I've got uh, a CTS target set up at about 12 yards. We're just going to uh, see if we can ring some steel with this thing. So here we go, first 14 rounds. All right, first 14 rounds is in, shot like a dream. Everything worked just fine, locked back. Second 14, here we go. All right guys, first 28 rounds down. It uh, functioned flawlessly, locked back both times. And I've gotta say, it is a very smooth shooting gun the trigger pull is is excellent uh the only guess the only downfall i mean i was getting hits no problem it was definitely throwing them right in there but um but the sights the rear notch and the rear dots and stuff are a little bit small so it is um i guess kind of hard to pick up the pick up the sights but uh but definitely usable but uh we'll do plan on changing these out hopefully in the near future but uh, i'm gonna load mags up and we're gonna keep shooting So I have to say I am pretty impressed with that first group with the CZ P01. Uh, this was 14 rounds at seven yards just using cheap 115 grain Winchester white box. So uh, <laughs> the gun's definitely accurate. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up the first range trip with the CZ75 P01. And uh, if you missed the first video I did with this gun when I first picked it up and did my first impressions on it, I did let you guys know that this is actually my first all metal CZ. Uh, never handled one, shot one, anything like that before today. And uh, so it was all a new experience for me, but I gotta say, I really, really like it so far. Uh, it is a very ergonomic gun. It just feels like an extension of your hand. It just melts away in your hand. I really do like the ergonomics. It shoots really, really well. Uh, whether you're shooting fast or slow, it's very controllable. And I'm assuming that has to do with the internal slide rails. Um, it just makes for a nice flat shooting, soft recoiling gun. I really, really like it. Uh, the trigger on this thing is actually really, really good as well. Uh, I did measure it before coming out here, before any rounds were put through it. And in the half cock position, like you see it here, when you, you know, chamber it and then decock it, um, it's right at nine pounds. Now, if the hammer's all the way forward, it is a little over 10 pounds, maybe close to 10 and a half pounds. But unless you're doing a double strike on a round, uh, the half cock is where it's always gonna be when you're shooting double action. So nine pounds there, and then the single action is four and a half pounds. And that was before any ammo was fired through it. And I'm assuming that'll probably lighten up as we put more rounds through it. So the, the trigger weight, the trigger pull, very smooth and crisp, all around good trigger. I guess my only complaint is the sights. Um, the notch on the rear is, uh, is very shallow. And then the dots that are on here are actually uh, pretty small. So the sights are 
somewhat you know hard to pick up quickly but uh, but i had no problem using them but i will end up changing these out eventually i do have a set of grips already on order for this we'll definitely do a video and i'll show you guys what i decided to go with there um but yeah in the accuracy i, I did the you know you guys seen the seven yards that i shot uh 14 rounds at seven yards first time shooting a group with a cz and i gotta say very impressed with the accuracy it definitely likes makes me look like a better shooter than i really am uh, but anyhow, guys, that's, that's it for this video. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. And before you take off, make sure you do check the description box. I got a ton of stuff listed down there. I've got uh, channel sponsors, social media, my new website, uh, all different types of stuff. So always check that out before you take off. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys watching and we'll catch you in the next one.